All right, what is up everyone? Welcome back for another YouTube video. First off, apologies, we've had a few weeks away from each other. Um, I was at work, you know how it is, life happens sometimes. But getting right back into it. This week we're gonna be talking about something quite boring but quite good, which is how to warm up before you go whitewater kayaking. Um, I'm, to be honest, I don't love to warm up, um, but I know it's good for you and I do feel the difference when I do it but that doesn't mean I still don't enjoy doing it. Um, over years of kayaking a lot, I've kind of got a, a pretty good warm up, just condensed down to a few quick steps that you can take. And I wanted to run through them with you today, give you some things to think about, and hopefully uh, something that you can take away and start putting into your practice when you're out on the river. So um, the warm up, I'm gonna run through all the steps. And then as I go through it, I'm gonna talk about some things to focus on at each step. So the warm up start to finish is gonna look like this. Hopefully it's on your screen right now. 20 forward strokes at a slow pace, 20 strokes at a medium pace, 10 strokes sprinting, turn backwards and do 50 backward strokes, do 15 strokes holding a left edge, 15 strokes holding a right edge, five sweep strokes to the right, five sweep strokes to the left, five back sweep strokes to the right, five back sweep strokes to the left. If I was in my freestyle boat, I would also add in five lean cleans to the right, five lean cleans to the left. When I'm in my uh, antics or my creek boat, I don't usually bother with those because it's just not super practical. Um, and I would also think about maybe adding in a practice roll or a couple of practice rolls as something as like a final thing you can be thinking on. So um, yeah, if you're, if you're comfortable with everything I just said, great. Uh, I'm gonna run through that warm up now and I'm gonna kind of talk you through some things that I'm thinking about um, as I'm warming up and some things to be kind of mentally cognizant of. So before I start, make sure I'm sitting up nice and straight, like a string pulling up through my head, through my spine, pulling me up nice and straight, which allows for kind of maximal uh, rotation of my upper body here, which is what I'm looking for. And as I start my first stroke of those 20 slow strokes, I'm thinking about sitting up really, really, that off there sitting up really really straight looking ahead looking at where I'm trying to go to really making sure that I'm winding my body up and unwinding with every stroke not just like pulling in my arms I'm really thinking about almost my arms locked out my paddle nice and vertical pushing through my feet with every stroke Really just trying to make sure that my paddle is going from my toes all the way to my hips. Sitting up nice and straight, not letting that bow pull. And as I speed up, I'm trying to think about keeping my strokes looking the same, the same technique but just harder strokes. So I'm not trying just like, as I speed up, I don't want to get splashy. I just want to think about really quality strokes from stroke number one to stroke number 50. Next up, we're going to do 50 backward strokes. Sitting slightly forwards now. This is going to help make sure my stern doesn't dig in. I'm really thinking about a nice upright paddle. Starting at my hips, finishing at my toes. Taking a look over my shoulder every couple of strokes, every stroke. Sometimes what I'll do is pick a point on shore that I'm going away from and just be focused on that. Really just trying to keep my core engaged here and still keep that like strong back, not like flop backwards or like be hunched over. I still want to have my chest kind of up. And again, really focus on winding my body up and Unwinding, unwinding, unwinding. Okay, after that we're gonna do 15 strokes holding a left edge. I don't have to be cranked as hard over as I can, but I just wanna keep my right thigh engaged the whole time, looking where I wanna go, thinking about pulling up with my core muscles here. and then switch. Again, thinking about that core activation. 
thinking about my balance because that's really what we're warming up here is our edge to edge balance. And then we're at our 30. So it goes through pretty quick. Next up, we're gonna do five sweep strokes. So turning, one of the most important things we do in our kayaks. We really wanna get this good and firing dialed in early on. Looking to the right, wind up. So I'm not thinking about just unwinding my arms like that. So my arms can be a triangle. Thinking about keeping a strong power box, winding up, planting that paddle, unwinding. Looking where I wanna go, unwinding, unwinding. Unwinding, 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 and then the same in the other direction. Really focused on looking ahead. And then five back sweeps. Same deal, wind up and unwind. Now, interesting thing with a back sweep, depending on where you are in your kayaking, I might recommend not warming up the back sweep. Why is that? Great question. As I talked about in previous videos related to forward speed, every time you take a backstroke, you're losing some of that speed. Speed is stability. Speed can help you get, your, get you where you want to go in a nice and stable, controlled fashion. So I don't want to be thinking about losing speed and I don't necessarily need my warm up to think about drilling losing speed, right? I don't want to precondition myself to think that I've got an option which is going to slow me down, especially at the start of my kayaking journey, because the more time you're slowing down, the harder it is. So we really want to think about just holding that speed and maintaining it. So especially if I'm teaching people who are newer to kayaking um, about warming up, I might not, I might just leave this out entirely because that's going to kind of help kind of the best way to describe it. It's gonna help kind of like wire your brain into only thinking that you have a forward sweep stroke as your main turning option, even though we know we've got more options than that. By just kind of pre-keying ourselves into not having it in our toolbox, it's gonna to make us less likely to use that. So that's been a kind of a quick warm up. 